Hey, Tim. Hey, Martin. It's not a bad time, is it? I mean, I, I can always call back. Nope. Not at all. Hell, I got plenty of time now. Yeah, look, don't, don't worry about the whole suspension thing. It, it's just a precaution. You know how this goes. Yeah, I, I get it. It's just bullshit, you know? I, I should be out there with you guys. I just had a couple of questions about what you saw that morning on North Sheridan. Right. So, you said you walked in the room and you saw her body. Yep. But you also mentioned that there was a crate or something placed on the floor directly in front of her, am I right? That is correct. The thing of it is, did you do anything with it or maybe move it at all when you were in the apartment? No. I didn't touch anything. The moment I realized she was still alive, I focused on getting her out of there. Well, the reason I ask is that by the time we got there, the crate was gone. I mean, there, there was no crate. That, that's bullshit. Who would have moved it? Her and I were the only two at the apartment until you two arrived. Well, and, and now you see my predicament. My other problem is that the coroner's report shows that Mary would have been dead approximately four hours before you even stepped foot in that apartment. That's impossible. I, I saw her. I got her out of that building and walked her to the ambulance. I, I know what I saw. Martin, her eyes were plucked out of her fucking skull. Do you understand what it would take for someone to survive something like that without any kind of treatment? Okay, what? What? Are you saying I killed her? Look, man, I, I want to take your side on this. I really, really do. But the evidence here just, it doesn't add up. Any sane investigator is going to take one look at this case and not think twice about locking you up for it. Look, you know my number. You call me if you can think of anything else that might help you steer clear of suspicion in this. I'm going to do what I can to keep them off your ass, but even my magic hands only extend so far. I'm not a miracle worker. Oh, one more thing. Mary has a sister. Yes, you're still suspended, but look, I also know that you're a good cop. And you're the one that found the body in the first place. I'll send you the address. Mrs. Williams? That is I. My name is Detective Martin Briggs. I was wondering if you had a moment. It's, it's regarding your sister, Mary. About three days ago, I got a call regarding a loud disturbance coming from her apartment. When I arrived, your sister had been brutally attacked and left for dead. Unfortunately, the injuries proved to be fatal. Mm -hmm. Ma'am? Pardon my lack of expression. I assume you thought I'd be? Not quite. 
See, my sister and I fall on two opposing sides of the spectrum, Detective. My sister dabbled in things that were far out of her control and understanding. Things that weren't meant to be dabbled in. You're referring to her work as a clairvoyant, yes? Mostly. After you deal in demons and ghosts for so long, Perhaps one of them might, in fact, find their way to you, no? I thank you for delivering the news, nonetheless. If that's all... Day? Psycho bitch? What? Yellow. Hey man, how you holding up? I'm losing my fucking mind over here, dude. Okay, talk to me. Well, I went to the sister's house and notified her. And? How'd it go? She couldn't give two shits about it. Turns out the two of them weren't on very good terms. Nice. What? Nothing. Carry on. And get this. She invited me in and... Dude, please tell me you didn't sleep with her sister. What? No. <laughs> Thank Christ. No. But I saw that missing crate from the crime scene in her living room. What? That, that makes no sense. Why the hell would she have the crate? That's what I'm trying to tell you, man. It, it's really freaking weird. There, that's a little more than just a coincidence. I mean, it, it's a bit of a stretch. Why would she have even been at the crime scene to begin with? I don't know. But when I was there, she was talking all this crazy shit about opposing beliefs and how Mary's demon caught up to her. I, it was just really freaking weird, dude. All right. Well, it's not enough for a warrant, but I guess I can stop by and see what I can figure out. Yeah. Let me know how it goes. All right, man. Talk to you soon. Bye. <sighs> fucking hell. Yes. Hi, I'm Detective Teller. I'm working on your sister's case. I just want to know if I could ask you three questions. Sure, come in. I'm going to take a lot of your time. I just had to follow up on a couple of details. Of course. Thanks. Want something to drink? Uh, yeah, that'd be great.
Mrs. Williams? Mrs. Williams! Bringer of darkness, master of the great abyss, I call to thee. Drain me of all light and imbue me with your boon. Purify me. And bring unto me the great void and eternal darkness. Truly, I'm sorry for all of this. You must be curious about why you're here. Don't worry about him. He's still alive. Not that either of you will be for long. You know, detective, in another life, you and I may have been something. Funny how things like that work out, isn't it? What do you want from me? I don't want anything from you, but he will. Who? Gavirman. 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 That's enough, Meredith. It's over. It will never be over. Jesus. Oh, Tim. Tim. Come on, buddy. Wake up. Tim, come on, buddy. What? Where the hell are we? We're in the sister's house, pal. We need to get out of here. What? The crazy bitch tried to kill us. Yeah. Get up. No. Come on. Oh. There you go. Oh. All right. All right. Wait, wait. Where's the sister? What do you mean? She's right.
Jim? Tim! What the fuck? Look, lady, I don't know what you're on, but the fun's over. This is all in the beginning. He is here, lurking in the shadows, watching as we sleep. The Lord of Shadows, destroyer of souls. What the fuck are you talking about? The great boy, my lord, my love. He will take you both to the grave. Back it up. You don't want him to. I'm warning you, lady. No. No, 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 no. Stay with me. <laughs> this can't be real. There's no fucking way. Wake the fuck up. You hear me, goddammit? Wake the fuck up. We'll see you soon.